Hey guys, it's Anna and welcome back to my channel. I know I usually don't post today, but since I'm so excited about the launch of my new product line, I thought I'd do a bonus video to show you guys some of my favorite stretches you can do with the Pretty in Pink stretch band. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and now let's go ahead and get right into the stretches. I'm just trying to get to do a bow pose to seal stretch, start by taking loop 7 of your band and place that around one ankle, and then place loop 5 around the other ankle. Once the loops are secure, lay on your stomach. On your stomach, grab onto both ends of your band and then use it to lift up your legs as high as you can going into a bow pose. During this, you should be feeling a good stretch in your back, so if you're a beginner, just try to slightly lift your legs off of the ground. Or if you're more advanced, you can use the band to pull them even further, whatever it takes for you to feel the stretch. Just know your own limits and don't go too far to the point where it's painful. After holding the bow pose for around 10 seconds, you can go out of it to lay back on your stomach. And then if you straighten your legs while still holding onto the band naturally, you'll arch back to go into a seal stretch, again to get a good stretch in your back. Afterwards, I went into a child's pose because this is a great stretch to do after stretching your back. And then you can repeat that motion as many times as you would like. This next one is a great leg stretch, so to start you're going to go into as deep of a lunge as you can, with the band looped around the back ankle of your lunge. Once you are in the lunge, rotate your arm in a circular motion to pull up the back leg, and you should be feeling a good stretch in your back thigh. After doing this stretch, make sure that you repeat it on the other leg as well. If you already have your full splits, a great stretch to work on with the band is middle and front over splits. To do middle over splits, start by placing each ankle through one loop of the band. And then wrap the middle part of the band around the back of your neck to go into a middle over split. So it's a good idea to start off with loops that are farther apart. And then as your flexibility improves, you can gradually change which loops you're using for your over splits. To do front over splits, start in your splits with your back leg bent so that you can place one loop of the band around each ankle. Then simply try to straighten out your legs as much as you can to go into an over split. To improve not only your leg flexibility but also your leg strength, you can use the band to do backwards and side leg extensions. To do the leg extensions, place one loop of the band around your ankle and then another loop around your shoulder. Again, which loops you use will depend on your current flexibility level. Once the loops are in place, try to straighten out your legs and use the resistance of the band to hold your leg there without hands. And you can also rotate your hips to go into a tilt position as well. Unless you're trying to work on your balance as well, I definitely recommend recommend holding on to something during the leg extension so you don't fall over. If you're having a hard time getting your scorpion or needle, the band is a great way to stretch it, especially if you're struggling to reach back to grab onto your ankle. So to do this, simply place your ankle through one loop of the band and then use the band to lift your leg into as high of a scorpion as you can. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found these stretches helpful. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Saturday. And you can get this band at AnnaMcNulty.com. Bye!